Hi guys and welcome to my build update number one for the Airfix 148 Supermarine Spitfire Mark 5B. This is kit number A05125 and it was new tooling in 2014. I'm doing this as a quick build in between packing boxes and moving to our new house. Um, just wanted to fit a quick build in so this was an ideal kit to do that with. So let's move on. So, as usual, I took all the parts out of the bags, five grey sprues, one clear sprue, and gave them a ceremonial spaving to get them nice and clean, ready for painting. I then put a primer on all the internal surfaces and parts that make up the cockpit assembler. And then after the primer, I used a cockpit green, which is too light, I thought, and I've mixed a XF50 field blue with that, just to darken it up a bit, and did the interior green on the parts. I then took some Model Masters aluminum, masked some of the areas and uh, created the demarcation between the cockpit green and the inner fuselage aluminum. I then took the parts for the internal walls, the subassembly parts, uh, got them all together and that's the seat subassembly parts. And then this is a couple of bulkheads, the instrument panel bulkhead and uh, seat bulkhead address and I assembled all those and this is the um, pedal assembler, foot pedal assembler and joystick I then got the pilot, I drilled an hole in him, assembled the pilot and I played Vlad the Impaler and I impaled him I then detailed all the parts for the cockpit um, painted those and there's the interior port, uh, starboard side wall this is the interior port side wall and that's all the parts laid out that are going to be built up to make the cockpit tub so then I um, after detail paint them I sealed them in with a flat clear coat and then started the assembler I assembled the instrument panel and foot pedals into the uh, port side uh, wall, inner wall and then assembled the starboard wall and then the seat and the two rear bulkheads went in place and it's just an overview of the assembled tub next I removed the door, cut the door out from the port side fuselage off that's going to get thrown away there's a separate door that goes in place and now it was, on it was time to assemble the tub into the uh, starboard fuselage off and I pegged that till it's set now this part I think is a little late in the instructions that Airfix have done. This should have been assembled into the starboard fuselage off before the tub puts, is put in place because you've got to try and get that through those two rear bulkheads and assemble it on the wall. So it's really fiddly trying to glue that in place. So a little mistake there by Airfix. Change your instructions and put that in the starboard fuselage off. Alright so when that was in place I then assembled the port side fuse large off together so that was all complete next thing was to take all the components for the wing assemblies and glue them in place and I clamped them till they were set and the last thing to do was assemble the uh, landing light in place to complete that and then the next thing was assemble the upper wing halves onto the lower wing assembler and then I put the uh, fuselage assembly into those wing, into that wing assembler and as you can see there were gaps either side and there was a little gap where the rear end joins the bottom of the fuselage and uh, so that's it all together the next thing was to get the control surfaces in place so I got those cut off the sprues and I then glued them all in place and there they are all in place ready to go Next was the upper rear fuselage cowling. I assembled that and as you can see that stepped up, it's proud all over there. So that's going to need filing down. Next I took the oil cooler, the Vox filter and the air filter and the radiator parts and assembled those and uh, uh, glued them onto the underside of the model. I then put in the two 20mm cannons, glued them in place on the wings 
and next I added filler in those wing joints where they were there were gaps and on the underside too. I then fitted the gun sight in place and next was to mask the uh, windshield and the canopy and uh, glue the front windshield and the rear windshield in place. I'm going to leave the sliding canopy off. Uh, and then I moved on to the propeller assemblies and I glued the rear spindle housing and put that into the nose of the aircraft, fitted that and that spindles turns. Next thing I did was clean the plane down to get ready for priming and then mask the wheel wells and put some liquid masking film on that clear lens for the landing light on the bottom there and then I put some tissue into the cockpit area mass set and then I got some grey Steinol res primer prime the propeller spinner and the model and uh, checked it out and everything looked good to go so then I uh, painted that cockpit interior green onto the canopy frames and uh, then started pre-shading I pre-shaded the underside with uh, a mix of three paints, a rust, a tan and a black to get a brownish colour and then on the upper side I did a rusty sort of black colour and that's it, it's all done ready for painting now which will be the next stage so build up date number two will uh, be the um, painting, decaling, weathering and final assembly and then after that we'll go on to the final reveal I mean, this is a quick build so it's only two build up dates and a final reveal so that's it from me guys, thanks for watching and thanks for any comments, really appreciate it and uh, I shall get on with painting. So until the next update, happy modelling guys, tally -o and chocks away.